Mm -hmm. I said I'm gonna install the Star X remote starter kit on my 5th gen 2020. See a couple of videos about this. They are pretty good. This is what comes inside. So that's the module. Cables. This is uh, for the hood. Prime 2. Some instructions. Alright, so I went ahead and start this storm on this. So, alright, so this is the instructions. Where to plug it in, the whole thing. Here's a little book that tells you the whole thing. The parts with the connect. So here you scan that, I give you step by step instructions on how to step, you know, install it. And uh, the whole thing. Alright. So, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna read a little bit. I uh, scanned the barcode and I start installing the starter kit. The Star X remote for the Mark 4 runner 2020. So I started with removing one screw from there, one screw from there. That that's going to remove this protection. This is where the screw goes. Just pull it up, prime it a little bit, and it comes out. Um, for the remove the turn wheel, you have to press the start for a little bit, so I'm just going to stop the noise. Uh, I'm going to close it over. Alright, so next, you're going to start pulling it out, that comes out. So now we have to remove this cover. I need to go underneath, so what I did, the only thing that I did is Pull it from there, put one of them here, there's somewhere we need to get back there with a little bit of space. Um, just screw it in there, screw it in here, and then I'm just going to pull it out. Uh, just give me a little bit more space so I can stop blowing any stuff. So to remove this side, I need to remove this, there's a screw right here that I need to remove to pull this out. So, um, Right here, I have to remove that for this to come out. Just pull it out like that, it comes out, and then I can remove this screw, this screw right here. Okay, so <clears throat> connect the red, white. They give you five, those are five pins. Uh, you have this white one. If you want to connect the hood, you have to put those pins in there. Sorry, you pins in there so they can go to the, uh, to the one for the hood. Any additional wire, you just have to put it in to go over there. So the black one goes here, and I have those black ones. The the one black one that has to be connected over there, I'll show you in a second. And the other one plugs in. Um, I still don't know what this one goes. I'm, I'm working through it right now. But this black one, uh, this black one needs to be, sorry. Um, this black one needs to be connected right here and then this one needs to be connected in the other end of the cable so what you need to do is just put a tap in there and you pull it out uh, and I'm going to plug the other one in okay and then I'm gonna Plug this one in and, and here. Um, to bear with me, I'm doing it in one hand. Okay. Just make sure it clicks. There we go. Alright, so that part is done. Uh, I'm gonna sit tight to this one to make it look nice. We're gonna run all the cables down here so I can go to this side and plug it in. Okay, so I ended up pulling the whole thing out. Um, I felt like I was forcing it, and I don't want to make any bend any break anything. So I like to be very careful with my my baby. So what I did is, I'm gonna not remove that. I just pull it out. 
remove this one, pull it out. That's so how I can pull this out with a couple clips in there. See those clips, remove those clips. And now I have a, a plenty of space to work on this, which is, is, is great. I don't know, like I said, I don't like to force anything while I'm working on the car and break anything or bend anything. So that pink cable that I need to reach out, I read the instructions, that's what video is behind the groove box. <clears throat> it's a pink cable, pin 19. So I have to reach back there to plug in this cable in there. <clears throat> so what I did it, I removed the entire front plastic. I removed this cables and unplug everything. There's also four screws in here that I removed so I can pull this metal piece down. Because the one I want to do is remove that one, remove the one in the back like that, and remove the entire fuse box out and reach out to that pin 19 and tap it in there. I said I don't like to force anything. So I'm gonna remove everything to get to that cable. So I removed the fuse box, which is right here. So I can type in the wire that it goes right, right here. That's where I have to find the Y19. I remove it once again. <clears throat> I don't like to force anything on my car. So I like to do it with um, as, much, um, as much careful I can be. I don't want to break anything, I don't want to remove anything, I don't want to disconnect anything. That is not it. So, so finally, after digging and digging and digging, trying to understand the picture, I got to understand the picture now. <coughs> so this is instructions. That was the wire that I need to get from this whole thing, which is the whole thing is one, it's not two. This is one. That's this, and they have to be 19. So I figured it out that this one is the one that's exactly like that. And this cable right here, sorry, that one right there is 19. That's exactly how it points it and how it looks on the picture. That's the one that I need to tap to connect the cables from the <coughs> from here to there. Now the instruction says. It doesn't matter what size, it says cut the wire and the loose wires from the red connector on the two ends of the pink wire. It doesn't matter which wire, which side of the cut wire. So I'm just going to cut it and connect it, it doesn't matter, even though it has blue and white in here. But I'm going to tap them in. Um, I'm not just going to splice them, tap them in. Um, I'm going to put a little, some heat. Um, two layers in there so it's gonna take me a little bit of time but I'm gonna get there all right so in a bit see you in a bit so I already tapped that cable splice it connected put some heat protection in there everything is connected now uh, before I put the whole thing together I'm gonna plug it in and test it because um, that was the only thing they've got left to do so I'm just gonna test it in See how it goes. All right, so let me put everything together and um, and go back. All right, so everything is back together. Uh, now I'm gonna connect the starter kit and go through the program instructions and program and see how it goes. And uh, fingers crossed, need to be working correctly. So the only thing that I did not connect was some lights. And uh, some other stuff in there that I'll probably just to avoid any issue when I started. I'm going, especially this too, because it's a factory. I'm going to um, just plug it in just to be on the safe side. Okay, so all the programming is done. You see it in there, it's already plugged in. Programming is done. I tested already like that and it works fine, no problems. So I'm gonna start putting everything back together, uh, everything in place. And uh, once I put everything together, I'll show you guys when I test it and, and did it work, all right? So I already put the main module back up, secure everything. 
got the connection of the cable in here. I just have to run it, um, hide that module, um, and just finish and putting everything together. Um, so I'll show you guys after I keep where I put it, what I hide it, so insecure, so there won't be no problem to make any no sounds or anything, rattling noises or anything like that, right? All right, so that's where I put the module. Right there, so my cable is out my way. I'll secure it under there. The, I moved all the cables back there next to the module. I put a couple of this rubber or fabric stoppers in the back of the module so I can put it right next to the metal and, and it won't vibrate or make any noise. Alright, so now the only thing that I need to do is put back the console in here, the lines, and I should be done. So everything is back to normal. I got my panel put back up. That was underneath of the steering wheel is put up. Um, we're gonna test it, see if it works. So here's the remote, we have to press the lock three times. Go guys, the starter X. Um, start work, no problem. So we all said. Works. 